The Hive and Hypixel are the two largest servers on Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java Edition, respectively. They pull the highest player counts, they have the most online content made about them, and overall have more brand recognition than any other servers in Minecraft. Obviously, they have to be doing something correctly to get to where they are now, though, and in this video, I'll be giving you my take on what I think the Hive and Hypixel are doing right, how they're doing it differently while still achieving similar results, and why this makes them the most popular servers across all of Minecraft. Minecraft. Be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new and a fan of my content, and enjoy the video. So, a little disclaimer that I always make before I do these Bedrock vs Java or Hive vs Hypixel videos, I play on the Hive with my main platform being Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is because the Hive is where I make the majority of my content, and it's where I'm best known. With that being said, you should still note that I've literally been playing Minecraft Java Edition since 2014, and Hypixel was in fact the first Minecraft Java server that I played on. I am by no means new to Hypixel or Java Edition, it's just not my main platform anymore. With all of that out of the way, I'd also quickly like to note that this isn't really supposed to be a server review video for either server. I've already done one for the Hive, and I plan on doing one in the future for Hypixel. I'm mainly just going to be comparing the two servers and what they're doing right, and what got them to the position that they're in today. Now, with all of that being said, let's talk about things that I see both servers doing the same that are helping them grow and maintain their large player bases. Right off the bat, I can confidently say that both Hive and Hypixel have something for everyone. You want a PvP? Well, the Hive's got you covered with survival games, Sky Wars, and Treasure Wars, all insanely popular game modes on the server. As for Hypixel, they've got you covered with just about every PvP game imaginable available to play on the server. But even if you don't want a PvP, the Hive also has game modes like Death Run, Just Build, Hide and Seek, and Murder Mystery, while Hypixel has similar versions of almost all of those game modes on their server as well. Hypixel also has things like Skyblock, Housing, and Arcade games, all of which are more original to the server and that I'll talk about about more in the individual Hypixel section of the video later on. Having a variety of games that appeal to multiple audiences is something that you're actually seeing a lot on servers nowadays, not just Hypixel and Hive. The casual players aren't going to want to play on a server that only has duels, and the same thing can be said for the PvP sweats that obviously aren't going to be playing on a creative plot server. I still think that the Hive and Hypixel are doing this the best though, and you can see it reflected in the player counts for each game and on the servers as a whole. Speaking of player counts, one thing that I said in the intro was that the Hive and Hypixel have the highest player counts for their respective platforms. Now I was thinking about this a little bit and I came to the realization that if a player with no prior knowledge of any server on Minecraft was looking through a server list, they would most likely click on and subsequently join the server that has the highest player count first, right? This is just how a logical human brain would work. There's probably a name for this phenomenon, but I don't study psychology so I don't really know what it would be called. But regardless, it would lead to a snowball effect where players see that the player count is high, join the server, and then the cycle repeats itself with other new players. Obviously, if the server were to suck, the new players would leave, but there's a reason why Hypixel and Hive have a lot of players. They're good servers. I know I kind of got off on a tangent there, but I really do think that can be applied to the situations of both the Hive and Hypixel. One more thing that I think both servers have going for them is the fact that lots of content is being created on their servers. Both the Hive and Hypixel have videos on their server with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of views on the videos. You can't really say that those views are seen on any other Minecraft server other than the Hive and Hypixel. It's just not a thing that happens. This, in turn, gets eyes on the server and eventually players on the server hoping to meet their favorite content creator or try out whatever they saw in the video that they watched. Obviously though, servers need to make it so that it's enjoyable to create content on the server, and as someone with YouTube rank on both the Hive and Hypixel, I can say that it is enjoyable to do so. We get things like custom servers or private games on both Hive and Hypixel, and overall just a lot of perks that make us want to come back to play and create content on the server. I think the Hive and Hypixel have really nailed it with what they do for content creators to make them come back for their servers because at the end of the day, content creation is what's going to get the server a lot of exposure. Now, those are the things that both servers are doing correctly that are the same in my eyes. I'd also, however, like to talk about what I see each server doing differently that's bringing them some success. Let's start off with the Hive first. They have a lot less games than Hypixel, but honestly, the Hive's games are really, 
really high quality. I say this for a multitude of reasons, with one of them being that they're pretty accessible to everyone. People connect to the Hive on phones, consoles, and PCs, and really no matter what device you're on, the games are relatively easy to play and get the hang of, but they can also be more advanced if you're a more experienced player. There's also things like custom models in games that enhance the player's experience. You've got the death chests in Sky Wars, custom treasure models in Treasure Wars, and even block textures in Hide and Seek. While custom models probably aren't the sole reason why people play the Hive, it certainly has to be a reason why people keep coming back. It adds to the overall fun experience of the server, and it's something that you don't see on that many other servers. Also, can we talk about the 3D hub NPCs and the costumes that we get on the Hive? Maybe I'm biased because I'm friends with one of the people who makes them, but I think these are some of the best that you'll see anywhere in Minecraft. Remember in my Bedrock vs. Java video where I talked about how Bedrock was the future of Minecraft? I honestly think that the 3D models like these are the future of Minecraft as well. Sooner or later, I think we'll see 3D models like these pop up on Java and maybe even Hypixel. One more thing that I think gives the Hive an edge over other Minecraft servers is the fact that they have very frequent LTMs or limited time game modes. In just the past 6 or 7 months, the Hive's had 4 LTMs, those being Sky Royale, Ghost Invasion, Snow Wars, and now even Block Drop. While Hypixel obviously sometimes has LTMs in the form of their prototype games or like Santa Simulator or Egg Hunt, I'm not really sure if I'd count those to be in the same tier as Hive style LTMs. Regardless, I think LTMs are really good for the Hive because they bring in players which might not otherwise play anything else on the server. It's a good thing because it brings in something fresh to the server while also not committing to a permanent game mode. With all of that being said, I'd next like to move on to Hypixel and talk about some of the things that I see that their server is doing right. Right off the bat, my first major point is Skyblock. It is literally the craze on Hypixel at the moment and has been for the past two years. At any given time, Skyblock pulls at least a quarter of Hypixel's players, and while I personally don't play Skyblock, there's a reason why so many people do. It's very well thought out, but at the same time makes you grind and it pulls a lot of players as a result. There's also Hypixel housing. While the average person might not think that there's much to do in housing other than build a dirt house, there's literally game modes that you can play inside of housing. One of the more popular ones is parkour, but there are many others. Speaking of lots of game modes, like I said earlier, Hypixel's got that going for them as well. If you want to play a game mode in Minecraft, chances are Hypixel's got it or something similar to it. There's so much to do and grind and play on Hypixel that you're likely to never run out of stuff to see on the server. But even if for some reason you get bored on Hypixel, don't worry, just join a guild and go self-promote it in the lobby of literally every Hypixel game mode. That'll take a while, but seriously, guilds, also known as Hypixel's clan system, is something that very few other servers have, including the Hive. While I personally am not in a Hypixel guild, I can see why it would be fun. You could use it to be competitive against other guilds if that's something you're into, or if anything, it can just be used as a sense of community on an otherwise gigantic server with a bunch of players. I really, really like what Hypixel and the Hive are doing to grow their servers at the moment, and I cannot wait to see what they do and where they go in the future. With all of that being said, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to my channel. If you've got any thoughts on the video or have anything that you'd like to add, let me know in a comment down below. Before we end, I'd also like to give a huge shout out to all of my YouTube channel members. They support me for $4.99 a month, and they get some cool perks like getting their names displayed at the end of every video. If you'd like to check out what perks they have or become a member for yourself, you can do so by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button or by clicking the members link in the description. Thank you once again to all of my generous members, and thank you for watching this video. That's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.